All right, so check this out. This video is going to be a little different. Don't know how it's going to come out, but typically I show you out thrifting, you know, things I pick up and what the haul is. And then you see when it sells, but you never see the process in between. Now, everybody eventually gets their stuff on eBay, but the processes are different. So if you're a new seller and you're looking for, you know, ways to learn how to do something, you know, pick up bits and pieces from everybody and create your own style. Mine works for me, and because of the way I do things, I never have a death pile. So let me just show you what goes on. Today's Monday, and I'm staying home. I went source on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's typically how my weeks go. I'll source for three days, and then Monday and into Tuesday are my photography and just documenting days. So I'm just gonna show you what I do when I stay home. Now, Saturday afternoon, probably around 4 o'clock, I gave my mailman my Saturday sales. I think it was 4 that I gave him. So yesterday on Sunday, I had 8 sales. 7 on eBay, 1 on Poshmark. And for me, I killed it. Some really good, strong sales. Um, it was like about $400 gross in sales. And I figured out after everything, I netted about 220 So I'm going to throw in a little what's sold here instead of saving them up and doing the way I typically do. So this is just going to be from yesterday. So here's my eight packages. I got them all laid out. I package them up as they come in. So like yesterday was Sunday. Last night I packaged everything up just to get a head start on the day. All right, so let me give you the eight things I sold yesterday. And then we'll go through the rest of my daily process. So first one is one of those Life is Good mugs. It took about three months to sell. I paid for a dollar for it at a local thrift store. So for $14.95 plus $8 shipping, and I netted about $11 on it. All right, this next item is a pair of Levi's jeans. I got them at the local thrift when they were doing their Thanksgiving $1 sale. And paid $1 for them. So for $18.95 plus $7 shipping, padded flat rate envelope, and I net $14 on it. Now you probably saw these because this video just came out a couple days ago or last week. So I only picked them up at Thanksgiving. And you probably thought, Steve, what the hell are you buying a purple jeans for? Um, they sold in a week because it's different. You know, how many regular Levi jeans are online? Probably a couple of thousand listings. How many purple ones? I believe there was only a handful when I put it on. So I always look for something different and unique. And that's what sells. Don't shop with your own taste. All right, here's two pairs of Columbia men's shorts. Got them at the same $1 sale. They're Seemed to be brand new, but there was no tags. They had that nice stiff feeling. Didn't look like they were ever washed. Just looked really brand new. Um, paid $2 for the two pair. Sold for $28.75 with free shipping. It was first class, so it was only like 4 or $5. And I netted $17 on that. All right, I only picked these up on Saturday. This is a box of Canon printer ink. Brand new in the box, sealed, paid $1 and took one day to sell, bought it on Saturday morning, sold on Sunday afternoon. So for $34.75, $5 shipping, I just put it into a padded envelope and first class. So I netted about $28 on these. All right, here's one of my most favorite things to find in the store. Another Toomey bag sold. And this one I paid 15 bucks for at Goodwill. I found this in a Goodwill store on a Saturday morning it's like two weeks ago, it had started raining, so the yard sales basically got shut down. So since I was near Goodwill, I stopped by and I found two Toomey bags that morning. Now, I don't know, I don't think I filmed, I think that video is coming out this week. Depending how I schedule them, you might be seeing this before that one, but you'll see when I find them. And I paid 15 bucks for it, sold for $72.95 plus $18 shipping, sold in one week. So after everything, I netted $50 profit. All right, here's another bag. The brand is Chrome, it's a messenger bag. Found this at the local thrift, and I paid $5 for it. It was in perfect condition. It sold within one week for $54.75 plus $10 shipping, and that also just went into two Bali bags. I might have been put in a box, can't get damaged, and I net $39 on this. All right, here's a set of three 
Ping I2 drivers, so one wood, three wood, five wood. Pick these up at the local thrift. They sell all their clubs for $2 each. And they have a lot, but so every so often I find some good ones. A lot of them are junk. So I paid six bucks for these three clubs with the head covers. They're in really good condition. They're vintage style because they're wood. Now they, they make everything with the metal drivers. $64.95, free shipping. And after everything, I net about $37. And his last one is from Poshmark. It's a um, Columbia jacket picked up at the hospital thrift store for five bucks. Perfect condition. Sold for $32 on Poshmark. So after everything, I net 25 and change on there. All right, so this was a really good day. So all these items, my total cost for them was $36. Gross sales was 370. And after fees, cost, and everything, I should net about 220 just from yesterday. So for me, that's really good. Considering I only run with about 260 to 270 listings. So that was a good day. All right, so I'll print out the labels for these a little later. And then when my son's get home from school, I'll either send them to the post office with them or I'll go with one of them and they can help me bring everything in and make it easier. Now this is gonna seem very, I don't know what the word is, very old style, old school to some, but this is how I like to do it. When I get an item, okay, I have, I have sheets of paper that I keep and I'll just write down, okay, like that thermos ALF lunchbox that I found a couple of weeks ago. You probably saw one of the videos. I'll just write down thermos ALF plastic lunchbox and bottle, the model number, what it holds, any kind of measurements, and I'll do that for each item, okay. It might seem like real simple. I know people use spreadsheets and stuff. But this is just how I like to do my process. So when I'm going to do pictures on something, I'll write it down. Okay, then I'll take measurements and I'll put them down on my list. I'll put any kind of detailed information that I need for when I create the listing. And when I do pictures on it, I just put a little dot next to the item. So when I have a bunch of stuff, like these don't have the dots, I still have to do pictures on those. They're sitting over here. And then once I list something on eBay, I put an L. And if it goes on the Poshmark, I just put a P with the circle. And that's let me know where they're listed and that they are listed. Again, I know some of you probably think, oh my God, that's how you do it. Yep, that's how I do it. I don't need a spreadsheet. I like to have this handy right at my side at my desk. And I always like to take at least six to eight pictures or more of every item. Different angles. Front, back, side, side, top, bottom. The more pictures, the better that they can see the detail of the item and the less chance of a complaint or, re re or a return for someone saying, oh, I thought it was this or I thought it was that. Let them see everything. So now once I'm done taking all my pictures and I just use my iPhone, I then dump them all into my computer and I, they go into the file, but I also have them go into Picasa, which is an old program, but it still works. And since I'm so used to it, I don't want to try anything new. And then I'll batch them over into files. I got to list clothes, to list books, and then to list is just the hard goods. And then they had their sit in there. So now when I want to list something, take out my paper, come over here, and I can either pull from my pictures or from my list, and I can say, okay, I want to list this Motorola talk about radio. And then I'll start listing it on eBay, and I'll go into here, 
and I'll pull the pictures off and dump them in. And then once it's listed, delete the pictures out of the file. So I always have things on a list. Like all these things without dots, I have to do pictures on today. These are things I just got. So right now I have about 20 items that are not listed and not pictured. And they're not done with pictures yet. So once I do the pictures, I will have them all basically on deck ready to be listed. So now today's Monday. I can list five or six or ten, whatever I want. I'll probably list about five things off my list, mark them, I'll delete my pictures. Tomorrow, even if I don't go sourcing, I don't have a death pile sitting, and I can just come back, pull out my paper, all right, let's list this, 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 pull out the pictures, delete the pictures. So there's always pictures of things ready to be listed, and there's always a list of things ready to be listed. It's just that that's the way I like to do it. It's very organized. And I don't have a pile. So that was a good little find. I got one, two. I got 11 magazines all together. So they should sell no problem. I wish there was darts in all of them. That would be even better. Because I would separate all the darts and sell them as a bundle. But these will all sell. Because who doesn't need extra magazines, you know? They're just like with my guns. When I go to the range, I have extra magazines. Because you don't want to constantly have to reload. Alright, photography's done. All my stuff is gone and put away. Just got these last couple of things to go stash. All right, now that all that is done, I have a pair of golf shoes that I scored yesterday at the bins. A pair of foot joys. They're in really good condition. Very nice. Dry joys. Size 11 for men. But the bottom has a lot of, I don't know if you can see it. It's all grass stuck in the cleats. So I'm going to take it outside with a toothbrush, clean it off. All right, so I'm going to clean these shoes off outside, get all the grass off them, then I'll wipe them down, and they'll look good as new. It's December 2nd, and it's 81 degrees, but it's a nice breeze, but it's like non-stop today, so it doesn't make you feel so hot. While I'm cleaning these, I can catch some vitamin D. You can see with the brightness, all grass stuck in them, so all that will come out nice, and these will look really good. All right, the bottoms are nice and clean. All the grass came off. I gotta say, the condition of the cleats don't match the rest of the shoe. Shoes are in really good condition, but the cleats are all beat up. Whoever owned them did a lot of walking on concrete. All right, so the only thing left I have to photograph is a couple of shirts. I think I got five of them. I'm just gonna wait for my son to get home and he can help me lay those out on the floor nice. And then I got this Toomey bag, which I'm still waiting. The brand is Dakota. By Toomey. So I'm trying to find out some information on it. There's nothing definitive online. Dakota is the line and it's made by Toomey. I think it's vintage. I contacted Toomey and I'm waiting to hear back from them. Because I want to know exactly what kind of line it is. Because Toomey makes it, but Dakota. And I don't, I find some online for sale. And use this bag, it looks like they sell for 50, 60 bucks. But I want to know for myself. You know, is it vintage? Is it still made? Is that something that Toomey discontinued? You know, get some information on it. All right, so I got seven to print out. $341 in sales. And the Poshmark was another $30. So let me do all these labels. And then last night when I packaged everything up, I wrote down each item and then the dimensions and the weights. So I can enter them all in and I just pop them all out, one bulk print. You gotta love a roll -off. Okay, now even though I have a long sheet of stickers on each bag, I write down the weight so there's no confusion and nothing is identical in weight, so it should be an easy process. All right, so now I'm gonna go down my list and I'm gonna, since I'm already in eBay, to print the labels, those are all done. I'm gonna go down the list and I'm gonna start listing all these Nerf Dart magazines. Okay, boys, thank you very much. Good job. Saving me trip home. Yeah, if they're going to scan them in, you could get a receipt. If there's a long line, then just leave them on the counter where you know the people put them. And don't worry about it. Thank you. Goodbye. Saving me a trip. All right, my packages are going. Pretty much everything is photographed and put away. 
except for a few shirts I'll do when they get back. And then tomorrow's Tuesday. Maybe I'll just do like a bins run in the morning. Come home, probably edit this video, get it scheduled to come out sometime this week. And then the rest of the week I can start sourcing again and then just repeat the process. But I have no pile sitting around. So I hope this translated into the video of how my day goes when I stay home and you see a little bit more than just the, the thrift and the sale. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this turned out okay. And I'll see you later. Bye.